Hi, this is Handyman for the Everyman, and we're going to be reviewing the Breville Searing Slow Cooker today. Yeah! <laughs> now, my daughter did help me uh, do the research for this. Do you want to tell us a bit about your research? Yep, so we just wanted one that could like sear, which is basically like browning your meats and veggies and whatever um, before you start the slow cooking. So you don't have to do it on the stove and then transfer it. So it's just one less thing to do and one less thing to clean up, so it's a lot easier. Thank you. This is the lid, by the way. We just. Uh, and what I did notice about it is that it's got a rubber lip, mm -hmm. which means that it will seal and keep the heat in probably better. Although they do put a hole there for the steam to come out. So it's also got the, the word Breville written at the top, very classy. Mm -hmm. Very solid, very nice. Some recipes and Ooh. booklet. No, I don't know anyone that would uh, <laughs> use, use the recipe book there. Some people do, <laughs> not me. We might. Okay, so getting to the actual product itself, tell us what you see there. I think this is kind of like a kind of like a um, steaming basket or something. Oh, it's metal. So you nice. can put something on there and then steam it above a little bit of water. And never had Very that nice. Before, of course, Ooh, so. that's fancy. So you could put your like. It's beautiful. Whatever you want to steam. Lattice. <laughs> Like from chemistry. Okay. Ooh. This is actually really nice. Mm, fancy. Fancy. You want to take this out? Do you know how much it was? This was two hundred and nineteen dollars, I think. As opposed to our one last time, which was like fifty dollars. As good guys. Yeah. This is a. Uh, the thing you put in the slide. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the reason why we had to buy a new one was because our fifty dollar one, um, but because uh, we left it on for too long. Excellent. Now, one of the things about this product is that it does have a timer built in. Which we didn't have last time. That's right. The cheap ones don't have timers. Mm. So having a timer is kind of good. Now, I'm just, well, okay. So this is, um, so I want to tell you that the old one that we had was ceramic. This one is not ceramic. I'm going to be worried about how this is like one of those, you know, the um, non-stick non ones. So if you scratch it, you're doomed. You'll die of cancer or something, you know? Nah, yeah, that was not very nice. Not very nice, but that's what they say. So. Yeah, Okay. So that's... Okay, the ceramic one is actually really heavy. So this is actually really nice. easy to carry. Mm -hmm. Easy to clean, but like, yeah, it's... Actually, I didn't know it was ceramic. I'm actually a bit disappointed. I mean, I didn't know it was non-stick. It was a bit disappointed. Ceramic would be you better. Stick? No, but we'll, it's just... We'll, we'll test it out and tell them. I suppose because we're not frying things. But to be fair, that is the material of most of our pots and pans, so it's not like... But the most of the pots and pans stop working after a while, that's the problem. Yeah, we'll see. We'll have to be very, very careful with this guy. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's, uh, you can knock it out of the place, but although usually they charge and I'm going to make things. Ooh! Look oh. at that. What does that do? Wait, let's put it in the tea. This can do something. The handles. Let's put it in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that makes sense. I thought it was Maybe going to Maybe once it's turned on. Oh, with the lid. The lid. Oh. Ooh. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's almost it's like good. a pressure cooker. Like, yeah. Yeah, because it keeps a bit of... Okay. Bit of I mean, it's sort of cold. But out. this is like if you want your kids to not touch it or something. Yeah. Now look at this. Okay, so this has got some things here. So this is going to be... Keep warm. It's got menu, power start button. Should we plug it in? No. We could, yeah, if we want to show everyone. Gentle, low, medium, and saute. High sear, slow cooker, low and high, steam, yogurt. What? Mm. Spot the uh, word that doesn't fit with all the other words. Yogurt. Yogurt. <laughs> yogurt. Yeah, with the yogurt setting. Ooh. Some people make yogurt in this thing. This whole thing is actually pretty light mm -hmm. overall. What do you think of the size? The size is... I think it's about the same size as our old one, except that it's a lot more compact actually. That's not helpful. Because for of the listeners. shape. Well, <laughs> for the listeners, let me just tell you, it's six liters. I think our old one was either six or eight liters. It feels big enough for a, you know, five brand settings and four cooking presets. So yep. Large, large stainless steel, steel trivet or trivet trivet. Oh my goodness, the multifunctional slow cooker with steam and yogurt settings. 
I've always, once, if anyway. I've always <laughs> wanted a yogurt setting. <laughs> What is yogurt setting? Does that mean you can make yogurt? It's like a nice special You can make yogurt with this. Really? That is so weird. Who makes yogurt? I mean at home. Okay. So it's six liters non-stick bowl, which is kind of good and bad, I suppose. Dual locking lid and four four cooking settings. So this is super advanced compared to our old one. It's an aluminium cooking bowl. Aluminium cooking bowl. Aluminium bowl. Good. <laughs> nice. Um, so it's got a countdown timer. Brush stainless steel housing. We can vouch for that. Um, yeah, keep warm function. Keep warm function is actually underestimated because the old, old one didn't have keep warm. Because oh, I was at low. It did. Oh, it did? Yeah, but um, the thing is, after you keep it on keep warm too long, it just burns. Yeah, so I'm not you still sure. have to be careful, but at least with the timer, which is the most exciting setting, oh, yes. yeah, yeah. after you've been using one without a timer, but yes. you just have to stand there and be like, How many hours has this been? That's true. And then I just didn't even figure that out. It's so true. That's, what, that's how we uh, burnt a lot of things <laughs> in the old one. Yeah. It's got a 12 month warranty. Uh, that's about it. So, shall we just plug it in quickly and then just press a few buttons? Can you? So, make what we're going to do is. We'll plug it in there and then she can change the setting. You want to move the camera in here? And then we'll just press a few buttons. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Yeah, so the bad thing with this cooker is it's a steering cooker. And oh. I have a variety cookie. And it has a toughened glass in it. So like a pain. It's a toughened glass. Oh, it's a baby. By the way, we need our garbage man to take this to the rubbish bin. Oh, so this is metal. Can I keep it? You want to keep the box? Yeah. <laughs> This is an unboxing video and you want to keep the box. As long as you throw the rubbish inside away, sure. Okay. You may keep the box. Okay, we're going to show you guys. Oh, here you go. Collect the rubbish, you may keep it. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to quickly look at this. Yeah, this, this is very satisfying, but that's not relevant. Oh, so the red lights indicate it being on? Thank, Thank you. you. And the electricity runs. Power. So now I get. We've got nothing in it, so I'm not sure whether we're gonna. There's a menu. Ooh, how do you use this? Okay, yeah, so yeah, well, you can change the settings, I presume. That's a timer. Okay, this is probably the menu to choose so low, burning, gentle, low, medium, medium saute, high sear, low, high, so this is slow cook. So the browning settings, the slow cook settings, and of course, they're all important. Steam. Steam and yogurt setting. There you go. For eight hours. <laughs> and then you just press start and that's it. And we're going to use it tonight. So, Ooh. put a comment if you want to see what we cook first time. I don't think anyone cares. Okay. You never know. Somebody might care. Oh, that's they want to see the food. <laughs> and, my grandpa. <laughs> six hours later, we have created this delicious dish. Straight out of the pan. There you go. <laughs> Amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching. That was our unboxing video for the Breville. Uh, the, what's it called again? The, the Searing Slow Cooker. And uh, yeah, it looks like good quality. So my only comments in summary would be, these settings are great. Most important thing is the timer. This lid is awesome. Very, um, very and strong, cool. but light. Um, it, it's got a small footprint. Stainless steel. Stainless I would say steel. That little kids, if you touch this, it's going to be hot. So oh no, I don't think so. It's really? insulated. Yeah. Okay, it better be insulated. Because I think it's insulated. So. Most metal things in cooking get really hot. Yes, this one I think will not get hot, but we'll try it later and see whether we burn our hands off. Yeah. And uh, the only thing that I would comment is I think, well, firstly, these plastic things are likely to break at some point. I feel, and probably completely unnecessary, but, um, but kind of cool to have there so the lid doesn't fall off, which is very unlikely. And the other thing to say is the non-stick coating, which I'm a bit half-hearted about. Thanks everyone for watching.